In this example, we want to evaluate the following improper integral. Okay. So we're given the integral going from minus infinity to infinity of e to the x all divided by 1 plus e to the 2x. Okay. So um, basically we want to find the value of this integral um, across the whole real line. Okay. So what we need to do here, since both of the both of these bounds are, are infinite, so we need to split this up. Okay, so using the properties of the integral, we can rewrite this as the integral from minus infinity to zero, okay, of e to the x divided by one plus e to the two x plus the integral from zero to infinity of e to the x divided by one plus e to the two x dx, okay? So, I could have chosen, um, I could have chosen any value here, okay? So as long as these are the matching values, okay? Uh, because we're working with a real open interval here, okay? So I could have chosen this value to be one, therefore this has to be one. Um, I can even choose this to be minus two and this be minus two. So it doesn't, ma it doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, zero, zero is, you know, it's, with the calculations, it's a lot easier to work with, okay? So then proceeding on, okay? Um, so we split this up using the properties of the integral. Okay, so we're gonna evaluate this one and then evaluate this one. Okay. All right, so Okay, so for the first one, okay, we have the integral going from minus infinity to zero of e to the x divided by one plus e to the two x. So again, this is a this is a another type of improper integral, right? Where the bound is going to minus infinity. So we need to rewrite this in terms of the limit. Okay, I'm going to use a since that's normally used for the lower bound, but again, you can use whatever letter you want. Okay, I want this to approach minus infinity, and we're going from a to zero of e to the x divided by one plus e to the two x dx. Okay. Let's see if I can move this down a little bit. Okay, make some more room. All right. Okay, so. So now we need to evaluate this integral and then uh, and then evaluate the limit of that result, okay? So this integral, okay, um, actually so it has the form of du over a squared plus u squared. Okay, so let's do that over here. So u, u is equal to, let u be, e to the x because when you square that you get e to the 2x here okay and a is just 1 so du is going to be e to the x dx okay so this integral okay so this integral has the form of du over a squared plus u squared okay so if you remember this integral this is going to be arctangent okay of well, actually, sorry, I forgot the one over a. So it's one over a arc tangent of u over a, okay, plus some constant, okay. All right. So applying that, applying this formula to to our integral, we have. Okay. So we're going to get the limit as a approaches infinity of a to zero, this is going to give us, basically, so since u is e to the x, so this is, and a is one, this integral, okay, the integral of this is simply going to be arctangent of e to the, 
uh, x. And then we're going to value it from a to zero. Okay, so that's going to give us the limit as a approaches minus infinity of arc tangent of e to the zero minus. And let me move this down a little bit more, make some more room here. Okay. Let's see, so we have arc tangent e to zero minus arc tangent of e to the a. All right. So okay, so arc tangent of e to the zero. So e to the zero is just one. So really, this is arc tangent of one. Okay, our tangent of one, that's the same thing as asking, okay, what is the tangent of what angle will give you one? Okay, so we know that's going to be pi over four. Right, the tangent of pi over four, right, is one. Okay, if you remember, sine pi over four is root two over two. Cosine of pi over four is root two over two. So therefore, when you take the ratio sine over cosine is one. Okay. All right, so then the limit the limit of this, okay, this is going to be pi over 4. So the limit of pi over 4 minus arc tangent E to the a okay so remember okay so now a is going to minus infinity okay so if you think about the graph of e to the x as x approaches minus infinity okay so just looking at the graph of e just for the graph of e to the x as x approaches minus infinity that the function value will approach zero so therefore this part okay this part is approaching zero but right as a approaches minus infinity, so arc tangent of zero would just be right zero. So therefore, uh, this limit is going to give us pi over four. Okay. Now we got to figure out uh, the value of the second part. So this is the integral from zero to infinity, okay, of e to the x divided by one plus e to the two x. So it's really, it's gonna, um, this, to solve this integral, it's taking, we're gonna use the same approach as one, okay? The only difference is that now we're gonna take the limit as b approaches infinity. So this is going to be the integral from zero to b of e to the x divided by one plus e to the two x. Okay, so I'm gonna move this up. So again, using the results uh, from the first one, okay, we have the limit of arc tangent of e to the b, okay, actually, let me write this out first. So this is our tangent e to the x going from zero to b, okay. So then we get the limit as b goes to infinity of arc tangent
of e to the b minus again arctangent of or e to the zero is just one so you get arctangent of one here okay just like we did up here okay or in this case right okay so then so arctangent of one arctangent of one is going to be again that's just pi over four okay so we have and as b approaches infinity okay so okay so e so e to the x okay as x if you're looking at the graph of e to the x as x approaches infinity right this is getting bigger and bigger okay it's approaching infinity therefore okay since this value this prime value, this e to the b as b goes infinity, this value is approaching infinity. Therefore, arctangent infinity, okay? So if you recall the graph of arctangent as of x, as x approaches infinity, arctangent is getting closer and closer to pi over two. Okay, so that's the result we get here, okay? So this is gonna give us pi over two minus pi over four Okay, so that is going to be, um, that's going to give us pi over 4 here. Oops. Uh, it's hard to write in here. Okay. okay. So now taking this result and adding it to two, okay, we get our, okay, so we get our answer. Okay, so the integral from minus infinity to infinity of e to the x divided by one plus e to the two x is going to be okay so for the first one we got pi over 4 the second result was pi over 4 so therefore we get pi over 2 okay and that is the uh, solution for our integral so this this can this converging Okay, so it converges. So that means the whole, if you look at the area underneath the curve for this function, going from minus infinity, okay, so as you increase the outer bounds, the total area is converging to pi over two.